We sure get a lot of questions at Leland, and one of the common ones is help. I need help choosing a fly line. And there's a lot of decisions to be made potentially out there with all the different brands from your big brands out there with all the different specialty profiles, and they're all after your money in some way or another. And for 30 years or so, we've carried pretty much all the major brands, but after a while, we learned a thing or two. But before we get into that, let me discuss two terms that are casually thrown around. The first is taper. And taper kind of means this and that to everyone. Really, when someone says taper, it's relating to the general, uh, general shape of the fly line. And uh, an old school fly line might be a level taper. Just think garden hose. It has no diameter shift on either end. It's just a straight diameter all the way through. That's a level taper fly line. Um, along came the double taper, where on either end of that once garden hose, uh, it was shifted down in profile with a little taper. Double taper. Excellent. And the most popular today is called a weight forward. And the idea there is that there's more mass on the business end of your fly line, thinner line on the inside of your reel. If used properly, you can shoot the heavier weight forward portion and the thinner line would follow along. That's taper. Usually in the boxes though, in a fly shop, you're looking at profiles. And profiles come in the form of uh, terms like, you know, light presentation or big bug or indicator or bass taper. And what that's designed to do is maybe with a more aggressive profile, shift the diameter on the business end of the fly line, it might aid you in kicking that fly over better. We used to sell those and then we stumbled into one thing. Really, for us, as important as a fly line is, the biggest thing a fly line does is it takes your small body energy, your fly rod amplifies that, and the energy goes down the fly line. So really, to us, a fly line should have an efficient profile. It should want to roll your energy forward. So that's one thing to stay with, is find an efficient profile. The second is this. Once you've found an efficiently profiled fly line that delivers your energy consistently by unrolling, Let's think about the rating of the fly line. If you have been trying to use a five weight and you have a big indicator and a couple split shot and some big bugs and you're struggling to kick it over, you might have a fly shop recommend a, an indicator profile or a big bug profile. Ugh, that's really not the answer. The answer is you need more line mass. Think about it. Logically, it works like this. It's the mass of your moving fly line that should efficiently carry along either your fly or your rig indicator, split shot, and so on. So rather than get a specialty profile, I would recommend you'd move up a line weight or so. So here's some quick recommendations to you, and we'll just stick with the core line ratings. When I think of a three weight fly line, I'm thinking more kind of Spring Creek style fishing. Longer leader, smaller flies, your 18s and your 20s and your 22s. And the good news is you still have enough line mass in the three weight. Better news is when it's delivered, your three weight line doesn't splash on the water. Spooky fish, spring creek fishing. A four weight to me is a great fly line rating for all around dry fly purpose. You can still throw your bigger hoppers and stimulators and fun bugs like that, but you can still deliver your lighter flies with a subtle presentation. Of course, you got your five weight. That's your most popular all around and it's great at doing just about everything, but it does have limitations. And those limitations commonly you'll see when you're trying to throw a big indicator or a streamer, something like that. Well, guess what, folks? With the same efficient profile, all you have to do is move up to a six weight and suddenly kicking over that nymph indicator rig or that bullet headed streamer is so efficient. You now have control over your fly and rig. You can place it accurately. You'll catch more fish. So hopefully that little primer on choosing a fly line helps you a bit. If you got any questions, give us a holler. We're here to help you. Thank you.